Have you ever been confused by the terminology used when cutting hair? Today, we're going to talk about the reference points and terms you'll need for your haircuts. Hi there, I'm Denise Kylitz, and I'm on a mission to help you the brand new hairstylist. There are so many things to learn while in beauty school. One of the most important is all the reference points on the head. So when you're learning a new haircut, you'll know what to do. Let's get right into it. We have our doll heads sectioned, parted into sections, which are our working areas used for control. If you're struggling with creating clean partings, go back and watch our video on how to magically section the hair. A subsection would be taken within each of the sections of the areas. Let's talk about those reference points. Let's start with the parietal ridge, which is the widest area of your head. You will find this by placing your comb on the side of the head, and where the comb comes off the head is the parietal ridge. The next important reference point is the occipital bone or the O-bone for short. This is the bone that protrudes at the base of the skull. I'd say 95% of people have an O-bone. Some don't. And if in doubt, just place your comb on the head like this and where it comes off is where the O-bone should be. Let's move on to the apex, the highest point of the head. You will find this by placing your comb on top of the head and wherever it starts to leave the head is the apex. Now don't be afraid to use your comb to find these important reference points. I remember when I was first starting out, I thought that my client would think I was just a beginner. I didn't even want to section the hair because I thought that they would think I wasn't experienced enough. Look, all those thoughts are just in your head, just like they were in mine. And no one is thinking that, so stop worrying about what other people might be thinking. I can guarantee you that all they are thinking about is that they are hope you're doing a good job. Taking these steps will ensure that your haircut will be balanced. The next important thing is the areas of the head. Let's begin with the nape, which is the back part of the neck, below the obone, from top of the ear across to the lower obone. This area determines the length, and in some cases, it, like in a pixie or graduated bob, it determines the shape of the haircut. Next is the back area. This area lives just behind the ear, above the O-bone. Remember, generally the hair here is more coarse. It's also a transitional area that connects the nape to the top. Let's move on to the sides, which is all the hair from the back of the ear forward below the parietal ridge. It's important to remember that the hair in the front of this section generally will be finer and a bit less dense. So take care not to overlayer or texturize this fragile area. Now let's look at the fringe area. It's the triangular section here. It begins at the apex and con connects to both recession areas. Now I'm not saying that you're gonna cut everybody's hair with all this fringe. It's just where the fringe area lives. Right here is the top of the head. It is above the parietal ridge. This section includes the crown area as well. So visually it has a higher density because there's a lot of area. This is also the area where layers are typically cut. There are some other things to consider when you're doing your haircut, such as elevation. Elevation is the angle in which the hair is held or elevated from the head when cutting. And this can be anywhere between zero to 90 degrees for hair cutting. Graduation is elevation anywhere in the nape area and layers is elevation anywhere in the back area above the oboe. Over direction is where you hold the hair relative to where it lives. For example, if you over direct the hair toward the face to cut it, it will be shorter in the front and longer in the back. And if you over direct all the hair to the back of the head, you will create shorter hair in the back and longer in the front. While we're on over direction, let's talk about guidelines or your guide which is the section of hair that determines the length the hair will be. There's stationary and traveling guides. The stationary guide does not move. All other sections are combed to the stationary guideline, like in the over direction example we just showed. A traveling guide moves as the haircut progresses. Now let's talk about the different types of lines used in the haircutting. Horizontal lines build weight, Vertical removes weight and creates softness, and diagonal lines create stacking or blend short to long. 
I hope this helps when you're learning new haircuts. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so you'll be the first to know when new videos are released. You can also go to our podcast for more information. We're always on the lookout for suggestions. If there's a technical question or anything you'd like to be answered, please let us know. Until next time, keep practicing.